All right, did I do everything correctly? All right, we officially have about five seconds. So welcome everyone. So again, for this beginning part, feel free to stand, feel free to be on the floor. Um, we're going to be stretching kind of our upper body and sometimes it's nice to be more in a standing position. So start with that right arm, just reaching that right arm away to make some length. Because sometimes in the seated position, you start to get a little cramping in your low back. So feel free, be on your knees, stand, be in a chair, whatever feels good to you here. And then we're just gonna pull the right ear away from the right shoulder, just lengthening. Think about taking that right shoulder and the right arm and just pulling it a little bit behind you. So we're really getting some nice opening right around the shoulder. If you want a little more assist on the neck, you can take your left hand, but I don't want you to pull down. I want you to kind of think about pulling away. So it's more about lengthening than about pulling the left ear to the left shoulder. And then maybe play with your chin a little bit. Just find that spot where the stretch feels just right to you. And then let's just move this right arm a little bit, nice and slowly. We're just gonna rotate from the shoulder one direction and then very slowly you'll rotate it the other direction. So I just want you to rotate through this a couple of times, nice and slowly, bringing palm up and then palm back down and slowly up behind you. Maybe one more time through that. If you get a lot of tingling down your fingers, you got a lot of nerves that run through that shoulder and they can get kind of pinched if you have some tightness. So back off a little bit if you need to. And then we're gonna release the head, release the arm, shake that arm out a little bit. Woo! Ah, feel that side compared to the other side. Ah, feels great. Now we don't wanna undo everything that we just did. So again, try not to crunch the right ear to the right shoulder. Think of it more as a lean away. So let's start with the left arm, lean it away, pull it away, and then lean the left ear away. So I'm still trying to keep the space on the right side. And if I want to use that right arm, I can, but we're pulling away, not down. Excellent. Welcome, everybody. We have a huge screen full of people. I love that everybody here at Beat that we know the importance of stretch just as much as our cardio and our strength. Oh, tilt your chin, kind of find that just right place for you. And then we'll start this rotation through the left arm. Oops, we're just trying to rotate through the shoulder socket, bringing the palm up one direction and then through the other a few times, back and forth through that using a little bit of movement. And breathe, and you remember you don't have to hold your head at all. Uh, one more time, that movement through the shoulder. Nice, and then gently release the head, release the arm. Uh, move that arm around, move your head around. Ooh, I feel like a new woman. All right, let's come a little bit into our legs. We'll still get into our back some here as well. So bringing the bottoms of the feet together with that space. So I don't want them in too close to me like a butterfly. This is called bound angle. Some people call it star pose. Heels are out of way. Hold onto your shins. Relax the shoulder blades down your back, and we're gonna start with a hinge forward. So think about the chest staying up, and you're just hinging forward. You'll start to feel some stuff come along the outside of your leg. Pause there. Pause there with the chest up, shoulder blades engaged down your back a little. It's like you're leaning forward. You don't wanna round your back yet. Take a couple of breaths. Move your neck a little. And then we're gonna get to start to add that round to our back, which is gonna feel awesome on our back. But as you start to round your back, I want you to still think about leaning. So pull forward as you start to let the chin bow, the forehead fall, the back round. Oh, and then you can allow yourself 
just release here. You're still going to probably feel some stretch. Uh, but hopefully it feels pretty good. It feels kind of releasing through the back. You can play with tucking the chin a little closer to the chest. If you have some kiddos, we do have our kid yoga fusion coming up 10 minutes after this class, so 1230 Pacific Standard Time. Love to see the younger VFitters join us, join me. Remember Yango signups, kind of last day today, tomorrow, we start Yango on Thursday. And if you're having any little bit of FOMO, fear of missing out on God Size Dreams, GSD, I think there may be a couple of spaces open for that. So as we head here towards the end of September, two awesome programs starting in October. From here, we'll work our way up. Oh, we'll take those legs and straddle them out, coming more towards the inside of the thigh. We'll wiggle around, hands come forward again. Start with the hinge. So relax the shoulder blades down the back, gentle flex of the feet, hinge forward. And just feel that lengthening down the inner thigh. And then on this time, as you come lower, I want you to try to keep as much length as you can in your spine. And then just gently let your head relax. So I'm not really rounding on this one, but you don't have to keep your head cranked up. Just let your head relax. You'll get a little curvature of your back, but not as much as we just did. I want you to keep thinking about pulling the crown of the head forward. So anchoring down into your glutes, your hamstrings, pull long through the shoulders and then the ears away from the shoulders. That deep, deep inner thigh stretch. And then I'm subbing bar today, so 1.30 Pacific Standard Time. If you are a bar regular, it is with me today. Um, and Coach Lindsay gets to enjoy a little bit of vacation time with her family. I'd love to see you then as well. A little more breaths here. Slowly make your way up. We'll pull those legs in. Come over to all fours for a couple of cat cows. So some easy movement of the spine. Dropping the belly and then rounding the belly and moving at any pace that you like. So cat cows are fabulous. We can use them in a lot of different ways. We can actually use the cat as building core strength by really focusing on pulling the belly into the spine. I want you to just think about moving in a way that feels good to you today. So at a pace that feels good to you, maybe your movement's small, maybe your movement's big, maybe you want to get a little side hip swing in there as well, as you're either in cat or in cow or in both. Allow the body to move here. Now you can stay here more in this all four position, or if you would like, you can curl your toes under and kind of come into some movement into that down dog. It's a dropping hips side to side, or I like to kind of push back and forth, right? Or just stay in all fours. We're enjoying a little bit of movement, so a little moving stretch. Nice. And then what we're going to do is start to bring our left shin forward. So our left shin is going to start to come across that mat into that pigeon pose. If you do not like pigeon in this position, I'm going to show you a couple of options. But to those of you that are happy here, right, you just start to find your pigeon, you lift up off your left hip, maybe you lay it down. Some options. 
you can actually kind of just set in this little bit of a mermaid position here. So this does get some hip openers. You also have the option to take that left ankle over that right knee into the seated or on your back reclining four stretch. Each one of these positions have just a little bit different, you know, pull to them, stretch to them, but they're all very similar. So finding what works for you. The reason I like the pigeon in this position is because we're gonna stretch our quad in a minute as well. And you can do it from right here. But stay here first, just in your typical pigeon. You want a little deeper stretch in, the, in that left hip if you think about kind of lengthening your right leg long. A little deeper stretch. And then what we can do is just take that right knee and bend it, right? And maybe it's just a little bit to begin, right? just till you feel that stretch in your quad. Now, if you're in your all four position, what you can do is lay on your side and you can come into your quad stretch here. If you're in this pigeon and you're feeling okay, you're not feeling any cramping in your hamstring, your hip flexor feels good, you can take, we're gonna do same arm, same leg. So if you wanna reach that right hand back, and you can open your chest a little bit to the right, pulling that right heel into the glute. You can come up on your elbow or your hand or you can stay down, just find that place that works best for you. So two or three more breaths here. And we'll slowly release. Coming back to all fours or maybe pushing back to that down dog for a couple of breaths. And then we'll bring the right leg forward. So same options on this side, kind of the seated mermaid, the seated or the reclining four stretch, trying to lift up off of that right hip. If you're in this kind of traditional pigeon. Oh, I just got a little like pinch up around my neck. Oh. And then come on down. into that hip. Feel free to move your head a little, nod or shake. Try to reach the left toes away, deepening that stretch into the right hip. A couple of breaths here. And then we'll add bending of that left knee. Remember, you can stay here. Right? Just kind of being aware of your hamstring. We don't want that hamstring to, to cramp on us. Or lifting up, maybe reaching for that left leg. Each side's a little different. This side is feeling a little tighter for me than the first side. Great to honor your body. Don't try to force something. Stretching is not about the force. In fact, we don't, you know, there's definitely such a thing as hypermobile, being too flexible. It's all about a balance of strength, flexibility, endurance, cardio. Couple more breaths here. Slowly ease out, come onto our bottom, take our legs, extend them long, and walk the hands towards the feet. So we officially, by my clock, have 20 seconds. So if you've got a few extra seconds, hang out with me so we can get a little bit longer in this nice forward fold. Oh, stretch. 
stretch all the way down the back side of your body. Mm, let yourself enjoy it. Of course, if you have a few extra minutes in your day, I invite you in just a moment as we come out of this pose and say 10 seconds or so to feel free to lie on your back, give yourself Shavasana. That is where we give our body time to just kind of absorb, absorb everything the body's done so far today. Oh, and we'll slowly bring it up. So feel free to take a Shavasana here if you would like. Um, otherwise, I'll come up, I'll log us out. If you've got some kiddos, I'll see you in 10 minutes. Or maybe I'll see some of you back for bar here in just a little bit. Have a fabulous afternoon. Thanks, Sherry. Thanks, Sherry. Thanks, Sherry. We'll see you for Yen tonight. Yes, awesome. Yes, Yen tonight. You're heavy on the schedule today. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.